Thank you for talking with us about an auto insurance estimate. Looks like you've been given a quote through auto owner's insurance. And so here's a quick how to read that paperwork. Uh, first, Auto Owners is one of our favorite companies, and it's because they have such a wonderful claims handling department. They do such a good job. In the J.D. Powers surveys, they consistently win or come in in the top, and in the most recent one, they won in the Florida region. Florida is its own region because it's such a weird state when it comes to insurance, um, and in the nation, they came in second to Amica Mutual, who actually isn't writing in Florida currently. So they've uh, done a wonderful job and continue to do so, and it's great that we get the chance to represent them. Here's your quote, here's how to read it. Uh, you'll see here the effective date, the proposed total premium, this would be probably for a year, and then an amount if you pay it in full. And this paid in full amount applies whether you pay in a six month increment or a 12 month increment, either one is fine. Then you've got down here some of the discounts and various things that apply. And then you've got your vehicles, if you've got more, they'll be listed below this. Um, so here are your coverages, you've got your bodily injury coverage, the first number is the total amount that the insurance company will pay per person maximum, and then the total amount per incident maximum for all people's injuries. That's for bodily harm, pain and suffering, lost wages, medical bills, those sorts of things. The next number is property damage, and this is a per occurrence number, so no more than this number, half a million per incident for property damage. That's other people's stuff, cars, fences, houses, whatever you can hit. Sometimes you'll see this written with just one line and it'll say combined liability and generally it's going to be 500,000. Um, that just means they've combined all of these limits into one. So whatever you're liable for, people or property is all one limit. And that 500,000 amount is usually the amount you'll need for an umbrella policy, which is often why you'll see the combined single limit amount. Uninsured motorist, in this version I've got it stacked. Uninsured motorist is what pays you or your family or your passengers for injuries they've sustained that they can't be compensated for by the other at-fault party. So if the other party who hurt you is not insured or doesn't have enough insurance to compensate you for your pain and suffering, lost wages, permanent scarring, disfigurement, death, disability, this is where you would turn to your insurance company and say, hey, you get to pretend to be this uninsured motorist and then you would have up to a half a million dollars per person, half a million per occurrence, or whatever the numbers are here, per person maximum, per incident maximum. If they are stacked, this number is multiplied by the number of vehicles that you have, because you can stack the coverage from one vehicle onto the coverage on another vehicle. So if you have two vehicles, it'd be 500 times two, or a million dollars of coverage. Uh, four would be 500 times four, two million dollars of coverage. The other important thing is that with the stacking uninsured motors, it's the broadest form out there, follows you in any vehicle, even ones you own. Um, whereas with the non-stacked, if you've got another vehicle that you own, co-signed for, uh, motorcycle, the uninsured motors would not follow you to those other vehicles that you own but don't have this insurance on. Personal injury protection, this is the no-fault stuff you typically hear about. It's for your medical bills uh, right away regardless of who's at fault. Medical payments is supplemental medical payments in addition to this, but also in addition to your health insurance. Worth discussing because it's a very inexpensive coverage, uh, but worth discussing with an agent depending on your health insurance situation, disability through your work, those sorts of things. The next two items are for physical damage on your vehicle. Comprehensive, meaning damage done by acts of God, fire, theft, vandalism, you hit an animal or get a rock in the windshield. You've got a deductible and then they would pay up to the actual cash value of the vehicle for the repairs, uh, or pay you for the vehicle up to actual cash value. Collision, same thing, actual cash value minus a $500 deductible, so they'll pay for the repairs up to the actual cash value of the vehicle minus a $500 deductible. Collision is basically for anything you collide with driving around or something that collides with your vehicle, say another person's car, um, yeah, if you get hit in the parking lot, the collision coverage would apply, you pay your deductible. The waiver here is something auto owners does and it just means that if your car is damaged and the other person is found to be at fault, they will waive your deductible, which is kind of nice. Road trouble service, this is just roadside assistance up to a dollar amount maximum. This is for things like a tow, uh, your car, you get locked out of your car, you run out of gas and you need somebody to bring you gas, you need help changing a tire. Additional expense, this is rental car coverage. This is the amount per day up to a total amount per incident. So $50 a day for a substitute vehicle, 
up to $1,500, that would be 30 days worth at 50 bucks. Anything above that, you're welcome to rent something that's more than that, but anything above that, you'd be on the hook for. It's worth noting that these collision coverage and the additional expense, if someone else hits you and they're at fault, but they don't have any insurance or don't have enough, you would be relying on your collision coverage and your rental car if that were the case. So uh, it's, worth, it's worth having a lot of the time unless you can easily get around without that vehicle. And you've got item details about the vehicle. You've got your next vehicle and so on. And then finally, uh, you've got a summary with the total amount, the paid in full discount written out, and the total premium if you pay it in full. And then lastly, on the last page, you've got your billing options and choices. And you'll see that the full pay option for 12 months includes the paid in full. So does the semi-annual. That includes the paid in full. Quarterly and monthly do not. Thanks for taking a minute to look over this. If you have any questions, ask your agent. I hope we can help you out.